Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought it was a good time to kind of do a video on what exercise I've been doing because the countdown is well and truly on until I go on holiday and I have recently really upped my game with exercise. Now, I know previously in the past, if you've watched my channel, especially when I, I was in lockdown, not just me, the whole world was in lockdown, um, I was doing like exercise challenges and kind of all these walks and everything, but life isn't just as easy, easy as that, as bad as it sounds, but like I don't have nothing to do. So my workout regime has changed a lot. What I like to do is two jogs, one gym session, one class pass a week. So that is four exercising days. <laughs> God, I'm getting really bad at explaining myself. But yeah, two jogs, one gym session, one class pass session. If I'm feeling really good, I'll do two jogs, two gym sessions, one class pass. But that's my aim and I've really upped my walking to try and do 10,000 steps a day in March. So I'm going to town, but this isn't normal. This is not what I do every month. This is just me challenging myself to really get active and you know, feel good when I'm away. So anyway, a really long-winded way of saying that I'm gonna document my workouts this week. Starting off with a jog today. It's really nice and sunny in Manchester, which is a rarity. So I'm gonna get out, aiming to do 3K, but I'm gonna try a new route today just to mix things up because I've been doing the same route a few times and I don't wanna get bored because that's the main thing with running is you don't want to get bored. <laughs> So I'm gonna try a different route, see how far that takes me. But I'm really not putting the pressure on running because I feel like when I put the pressure on myself, it's when I stop doing it. And I have a 10K in May, so I really need to continue it. I just need to get out and run and run and run and then ultimately my fitness will improve and I will be able to run a 10K, hopefully. But yeah, jog today. It's Tuesday, so I'm starting my kind of workout week today, but I did do 10,000 steps yesterday on Monday, so it was a good start to the week at least. So yeah, Tuesday, jog. you can see from my slightly rosy cheeks I have finished my run I managed to do 3.6k which I was actually really proud about about I actually did feel like I could go longer and I maybe should have but I just didn't want to run round and round in circles and the kind of route that I took myself on was 3.5k I added an extra 0.5 one is that that what you had to get to three by six god maths isn't mathsing after after ah, nothing is going on in this brain after being at work and then going on a jog um so i i felt good because i i think i could have pushed myself to do 4k maybe even 5k which for a long time i felt like i've not been able to do so it did feel really good and next time i'm gonna push myself and do a bit longer just find a route that just adds a little bit on because each time if you add a little bit on it feels less o overwhelming than like adding like 2k onto the run so that's what I'm going to do and yeah I'm less red as well because I didn't show you when I first got back because that would have been embarrassing um but I've just done an ab workout 10 minutes of abs because we're really getting the exercise in this month um so that's my workout for the day. <coughs> oh my god, just words aren't wording. And <coughs> I feel like I've developed a cough. Um, 30 minute run, kind of. It actually was like more like 20 minutes. 20 minute run, 10 minute abs. That's me done for the day. I will see you tomorrow with day two of my week workouts. 
I forgot that I wanted to get 10,000 steps in and I was only on 7,000. So I've decided to walk to the shop instead of drive to get those last 3,000 steps in. And I'm only picking up squash and asparagus, so it's a pretty boring shop, but gotta get them steps. But it's a really nice day, so listening to some nice chilled music and going to the shop. Good afternoon. It is day two of exercising, but it's day three in the week. So I'm getting confused with my days already. Um, but it's gym class day. I am going to a class called Tribe. It's on Class Pass, which I'm just going to show you now. Um, it's like so many classes to choose from. Literally, you can type in yoga, you can type in um, Pilates, you can type in circuits and it just comes up. This isn't sponsored or an ad by the way, I wish they were paying me because I use it so much. Um, but yeah, I've got this coming up, Tribe, lower body, in the middle of Manchester. So I'm getting ready for it now, I need to type my hair. Um, not gonna lie, if I seem all croaky and disorientated, that's because I am, because I've just had a two hour nap. <laughs> I finished work and then I was zonked. Um, zonked? I feel like that's such an old people's word. Um, okay, hair is up. <sighs> oh, you take these earrings out. Um, but yeah, it's lower body focus today. So if I go to the gym tomorrow, which I am hoping to do, I'm going to do arms and I'll do like a little circuit thing again, but I'll show you. But yeah, I will show you as much as the class as I can. Obviously I'm cautious that people are doing their own class in there and I don't wanna get other people in, in shot as much as possible. Um, so yeah, I'll show as much as I can, but yeah, day two is a gym class with class pass. And I need to get going, because as I said, two hour nap means I'm running late, of course. <laughs> I thought I'd just mention as well, sorry for the quality change, I'm just on my phone because I'm literally about to step through the door. Um, I'm getting the train into town and walking from Piccadilly all the way up to Tribe, which is by Dean's Gate. So for my Manchester girlies, you know I'm getting those steps in. And then I'm walking all the way back. So I'm really, really consciously taking on this 10,000 steps a day challenge. So yeah, smashed it yesterday. I actually think I did 13,000 in the end. I'm going to smash that today as well, whilst also getting their workout in. I just thought I'd add that in. And yeah, the sun is shining again. It's like Manchester knows I'm doing a little exercise challenge and wants the endorphins to be high and vibes to be good. That was cringe. But anyway, let's go. everyone it's day three i went to why am i speaking like a robot <laughs> um i went to the gym class yesterday to tribe it was really good and you know what for the first time in what feels like a long time i kept up with the people there because some of them are gym junkies or like go every day because they smash it and i'm just jealous but um yeah, I could kind of keep up last night, which was nice. It means my fitness is slowly improving. I mean, I wasn't going to the level they were all going at. I was still at the amateur level, but it did feel good that I at least was kind of keeping up with what the instructor was saying. So that felt good. Anyway, I am now on 
day three. Have I already said that? So I've been on a jog, I've been to a gym class, now I'm actually going to the gym. And what I'm gonna do is because in that gym class, we did sprints. I might actually um, write down exactly what I, um, I did in that class and kind of interject the video so you can like do it yourself if you wanted to and not pay an expensive amount to have class pass. Just have me, that will tell you exactly what to do. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, anyway, long story short, um, we did sprints yesterday and I usually do sprints before I do a little circuit workout. Um, so instead I'm gonna do 12, 330, which is the classic um, Victoria's Secret model kind of um, treadmill exercise regime thing. This is not, this is not a short story, this is long. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do a short arm workout because yesterday was leg based and I always do circuits because I find machines so terribly boring and I prefer to be quick. So yeah, I'm gonna go in now. I'm literally looking at the gym, dreading it. So meet you in there. Here she is in all her glory. Okay, I'm actually going in now. I'm just putting it off. ready for Mother's Day, which is on Sunday. But I thought I'd update you on my exercise week because what day am I on? I've done my jog, done my class, done my gym. So I wanna do one more kind of key piece of exercise this week, which will be tomorrow, because I'm going on a jog with Chloe. But I didn't manage to hit 10,000 steps yesterday. I only did five, which a little bit disappointing, but I was kind of working, driving home to Derby. There was a lot going on, so I'm forgiving myself. I think it's very key to do that and not put too much pressure on. Um, but what I thought I'd do today is really walk it out. So I'm gonna walk to the shops in Derby, which is like down like a, a really big road. So I'm trying to prepare myself and I don't have headphones. So do I wanna do this? Not really, but I'm going to, to get them steps in. Then from the shops, I'm gonna walk to Hope's house as well. <laughs> really on my walk in, um, kind of grind today and then hopefully I'll do kind of like 15,000 steps today and then that makes up for not doing 10,000 yesterday. Did I just say, I think my words didn't come out right then, but either way, I'm gonna add some more steps into my routine today to kind of make up for it, but yeah. Hope you, don't know what I was gonna say then. Hope you do some steps too, I don't know. Do whatever you want. Don't do any steps if you want. Just lay on the sofa, chill out. Do what, do what pleases you. Good morning, everyone. I know I said that I was doing a jog with Chloe. That was the plan, but I saw her last night and she has kind of Mother's Day plans in the morning, whereas I have Mother's Day plans in the afternoon. So I just don't think we're gonna match up. And then I have slightly got tonsillitis and I have no headphones to jog on my own. 
and I refuse. So I don't know whether to put the job on hold till I get back to Manchester this afternoon, whether to go on my own and brave a jog in the rain with no headphones, but that actually feels like putting myself through torture. Um, or to just hold off and do a job tomorrow. I can't decide, so I'll let you know what I do and update you. It is a little bit later on now. I've just driven home to Manchester and I kind of have a burst of energy. <laughs> so I'm not gonna jog because Cl number one, Chloe couldn't jog with me, so that was sad, but we have organized the time when we can. Um, and now I've got back, the weather is, <sighs> atrocious it's really rainy it's getting dark i just don't feel comfortable going out on a jog still got tonsillitis um and i'm also on my period so those things combine combined those things combined means no jog for me today but i don't want to end my week on a low what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the gym and i'm going to do 12 3 30 to round off the week and end it on a semi high so that I've kind of done what I intended and done four days of exercise and also smashing my 10, um, 10 steps a day. That would be really minor, um, 10,000 steps a day. I actually did manage to do 15,000, over 15,000 yesterday. Um, so hopefully I'll add up my total for the week um, and see if I managed to smash 70,000 because that would be 10,000 a day, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'll show you what I do. But all I know I'm going to do is the 12, 3, 30, literally the tiniest session, but, you know, just to do something, get my body moving. And yeah, I'll let you know. good to have just got out for even just that half an hour on a treadmill and it just feels like I've done something so I'm feeling better I've got my tuna salad a really boring tuna salad it's literally just tuna tomatoes cucumber and lettuce very boring and a very boring bowl of apple and yeah that is my week complete I need to shower eat then pretty much sleep I'm gonna edit this video so hopefully you have it up ASAP um, and then start the whole bloody week again <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of what I do week on week obviously each week is different so I'd be happy to do more of these in the future and I know I didn't really sh show much food obviously I just showed my tuna salad but um, I, I kind of didn't want that to be the focus of the video so maybe I'll do a what I eat in a day next so you can kind of see my healthy eating journey as well um but yeah thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you all next week Bye.